On weekdays, we are always working late. On weekends, when we are supposed to rest, can I rostered for weekend duty? <laughs> and on Mother's Day, some more. What to do? That's what working in a hospital is like. So, when shall we try for our next date? What's the point? We always end up having to cancel. Then we don't cancel. No matter what, we carry on. We can't predict what will happen. What if there's an emergency? No, Raini, when is there never an emergency? That shouldn't stop us. I don't want to plan and look forward to it. Then end up being disappointed again. Okay, we will leave it for now. Yeah? Come to think of it, Michael seemed a little unsteady on his feet. Please, he does not have ALS. It's just some sob story he made up to try and whistle his way back into our kids' lives. It's been so many years. He could have cleared his name and come back to Singapore at any time. Why now? Exactly. There must be something he's not telling us. No, no. My point is, people who receive life-changing diagnosis, they tend to reevaluate their lives. We see it all the time in the hospital. Michael is nothing but a compulsive liar. You know, the life expectancy of people with ALS is only two to five years. With some living more than ten. What's your point? Why would he try to lie to us about something that can be easily disproved? Of course. We should get proof. I'll get in touch with Noah and see if he can corroborate what Michael told us. Still no word on your case? The lawyer said he would call me if there are any updates, but he hasn't, so... Sorry. You wouldn't have to deal with this if not for me. Not your fault. I was the one who asked to meet Jared. Just my luck that I fell and broke his arm. Sucks that SSU suspended you. Pending internal investigation. It's like they've already decided that you're guilty. Can't you appeal against it or something? Uh, I'm so done helping myself or anyone. I just end up making things worse. I'll just wait for the bad news. Guys, quick! They're coming home! I can hear them in the corridor! <sighs> Oh, I think you over-ordered. We weren't sure what kind of brunch mum would like, so... We just got a bunch of everything. Mm-hmm. There's prawn meat, french toast, dim sum... And chocolate cake. <laughs> I think that's your favourite, Violet, not hers. Happy Mother's Day! I completely forgot it was Mother's Day today. This for you. Thank you. I got something to show you. Is that why you dragged me out of the house just to go to the supermarket? Uh, as a matter of fact, yeah. <coughs> hey, 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 don't try to take the credit for all our efforts, okay? Okay, okay, let's let's eat. Let's uh, cut the cake, let's uh, take yes. the food. Yeah. Oh, cake first! Oh, right. Where's the knife? Where's the knife? Nice. I think I can just eat it like that. Yes. Hey, hey. No, don't eat it like that. Okay, so please tell Mrs. Go all the paperwork done already. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Alamak, your best friend is heading this way. Enjoy your lunch with her. Oh, wait, Narayani, uh, since you're here, have you heard from Sherry? No, why? Well, nobody's seen her in school since her fighting incident. So she skipped a day of school? And remedial. Did you call her father? Of course, but he didn't seem too concerned. He is. He's trying to make ends meet. Takes on double shifts, a single father. I think he finds it hard to take care of her. Well, I'm sure it's nothing. Just let me know if you hear from her, yeah? Okay, let's go. That took a while. I was just catching up with my old friend. Anyway, the next order of business for today, we have arranged for a family photo shoot at a studio nearby. Actually, Damien was the one who arranged it. Wow, that sounds fun. <laughs> the rest are already getting ready. You guys should go too. No, you go change. I'll finish up here. Okay. So apparently, what Michael said about his case is true. All of it? Noah says Michael made a deal with the prosecutors. He's providing evidence against his ex-partners and clients to prove his innocence. Well, that explains why the charges against him were dropped. I don't know. Part of me wishes that he came back to the country illegally or something. And the police could just lock him up so I wouldn't have to deal with him. Well, that's understandable. 
I just can't have him back in my kids' lives. I just can't. We'll worry about that later. For now, let's just enjoy what the kids have planned for you. Can we do that? Don't tell me that's Michael. No, it's uh, Damien's lawyer. Hello? Ma'am? Cherry! 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 They want me to do something. I... Cherry? Cherry! Who are they? My friends? Don't do anything you don't want to. I try to tell them. Where are you? Some car park. Send me the location. I'll come. Hey, Sherry! They found me. Why are you hiding from us? Huh? Sherry! <sighs> hey, what you? You're also working today? Eh? Sometimes Sunday is the only day I can get my things done. At least Philip and Haresh is not here to bug me. Have you seen uh, Noraini? I was supposed to have lunch. I saw her rushing off. Rushing? Where? Helping a patient. What else? She's your wife, you know. This is what she does. As if every case is so serious. Hey, this one is. I heard uh, a girl gets herself involved in gangs. Huh? Something like that. Gangs? And you didn't help her? Hey, she's very good at helping herself, what? Uh, okay, so... This one goes over, and then the one across goes under. Wait, that's not right. Daddy, why are you taking so long? <laughs> because I've never done this before, Violet. Anyway, why do you want a fishtail braid? Is it because you want to look like a fish? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to look nice for the photo shoot. Of course. Where's Mummy? Can she help me pick my dress? Um, let's not bother Mummy, okay? She's busy right now. Is she okay? I heard her yelling on the phone just now. No, she was not yelling. The person she was talking to was uh, in a noisy place. That's all. Oh, OK. Yeah. It's very easy. Just go in, put the stuff in your bag and walk out. Just act like you own the place. But what if the camera sees me? Stop wasting our time and just go and do it. Go. I said go. Oi, you better stop that. Auntie, don't be a gay boy. Don't be a bully. Who's a bully? We are all friends. Shari, it's OK. Come with me. Hey. So you're the one who asked this auntie to come down, huh? Hey, I'm warning you girls, huh? Wah, warning some more. Auntie, this is none of your business. Don't look for trouble, OK? Hey. Basically, Jared has filed a civil suit against you for battery. He is claiming damages for medical fees and loss of income from the injury. What? <laughs> battery. Stupid idiot knows full well I didn't lay a finger on him. That idiot broke his own arm when he lost his balance. Wait, so in addition to the criminal charge, Damien has to deal with civil suit? Seems that way. But don't worry, your mother and I will take care of it. How do you expect me not to worry? Firstly, I'm an end of a criminal record, and now this clown is trying to take advantage of the situation and get money off us. <laughs> Damien. This is all my fault, Appa. Damien got in trouble because of me. Defending me. Don't say that. Of course it is. None of this would have happened if I didn't get close to Jared in the first place. Don't forget, you are a victim in all of this. It's not your fault at all. <sighs> you two should be ashamed of yourselves. Trying to get Sherry to shoplift for you? You got proof. Do you know what's the penalty for shoplifting? You can go to jail, you know? Who shoplifted? Nobody, what? Don't do something that you end up regretting later in your life. Oh. You, you are all still so young. You have a bright future ahead of you. Boring, Xia. You sound like my teacher. We didn't do anything wrong, okay? So just leave us alone. I am not leaving without Sherry. Come. Hey, I give you one more chance. Leave us alone oh. or else. Oh, 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 o
Sayang, what are you doing here? Hey, I'm here to protect you, lah. What else? Protect me from a couple of 15-year-old girls? Bo Chu said there were gang members involved. What was I supposed to think? And what were you going to do? Whack them like mosquitoes? Hey, you laugh at me after I saved you, huh? Yeah. You shouldn't be hanging out with those older girls who don't care about you. You are the one who has to bear the consequences, not them. You better come back to the hospital until your daddy finishes work. Come. Christine, the kids are already downstairs. Yeah, I am. Damon says that we can't be late for the studio booking. Okay. Okay. Right here. All right. I... I meet you there, okay? What? He says it's urgent. He? Michael? I thought we agreed that we would try to just enjoy the day. I can't explain it to you, Alex. But if I turn him down, I just know that somehow he's going to use it against me. Aren't you playing into his hands? How can you just rush in like that by yourself? At that moment, I was just thinking about Sherry. Hey, you have to take care of yourself too. I know they are teenagers, but you never know. What if they are armed with parangs? Then how? Okay, okay. Don't forget, Noraini, you have ITP. Huh? What if huh, you went there acting like a hero, and then how were you pingsan because of your low blood platelets? Hey, I already say okay. Next time, you better call somebody else to handle it. Call who? You think there's so many social workers on standby waiting beside their handphones? Hey, she is my case. If I don't help her, who will? Taking care of yourself is more important, Noraini. Can't you understand from my point of view, for some of these youth, one silly mistake can derail their entire life? So, unfortunately, once these things go on your record, it's very tough. How do you think your daddy will feel if you have to go to jail? It always starts with something small like shoplifting. The more you do it, the more you think you can get away with it. That's how people end up committing more and more serious crimes. Is that what you want? I only wanted to be their friend because everybody in the neighbourhood likes them. They're cool and fun. And the people in your new school aren't fun? They hate me. They don't know you yet. Making friends takes time. And you know, as you train, you might realise that your ping-pong sparring partner can make a good friend. By the way, your husband is so sweet there. Eh? <laughs> he came all the way down to rescue you. He didn't come to rescue me. He came to scold me only. <laughs> well, good, Mandy. Thanks. Let uh, Violet have two scoops. Hopefully, she'll feel better for that. Bye. Mother's Day shoot without a mother. What a joke. Poor Violet. She was really looking forward to the shoot. Your mom's still not picking up your calls? Pa, the lawyer seriously couldn't wait to discuss the drink driving case tomorrow? I guess. I know you've been asking around about me, Chrissy. And I said, stop calling me that. I'm not mad, though. And you don't have the right to be. Suppose I'd do the same if I were you, in light of our trust issues. We don't have any trust issues. You are just a compulsive liar. Anyway, have you given any thought to my proposal? Ah, oh, I didn't need to give it a thought at all, actually. It's a no. I see. I think you lost a chance with them when you chose to abandon them. Sorry to say, they have moved on from you. We all have. I was afraid you might say that. What do you expect? That you can just show up after seven years and pick up where you left off with the kids? ALS or not, it's too bad. Bai is my daughter, Chrissy. With what little time I have left, I would like to have a relationship with her. And that will happen with or without your cooperation. Are you threatening me? Let's just say I'll do whatever it takes, even if I need to sue for custody.
Thanks, Uncle, for coming down just now. <laughs> I really scared them off, right? Uh, yeah. Must be because of this. <sighs> you know, this is the same racket that Hafik used when he won the Super Series. Wow. You know, Uncle was his coach since young. I taught him everything he knows about badminton. Did you also teach him? This? Oi, oi, oi! Oi! <laughs> so cheeky, are you? So, what was Hafik like when he was young? Well? Sherry! Your daddy's here to pick you. But Uncle was just going to tell me stories about Hafik. Tell you what, after school tomorrow, if you come here and do your homework, Uncle will tell you all the stories you want. But you must promise to go to school. Can? Maybe? Hey, got attitude, ah? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Come. <laughs> How dare he threaten me like that with Violet? How dare he? And there's no way he will win the custody suit. I mean, he has been absent practically her whole life. Probably not. <laughs> but I asked Noah about this. He might be able to go to the court and get an assess order. What does it mean that we'll be forced to let him spend time with Violet? And there's nothing we can do about it. In that case, aren't we just delaying the inevitable? What exactly are you suggesting? That we should give in? <sighs> How can you even think that? What choice do we have? I mean... I don't know, Alex. But what I do know is I'm not giving up. Look, I know you're concerned about Violet. But if you're so concerned about your kids, I mean, you haven't seen a word since you came back. They're worried about you. And whose fault is that? Why did you have to lie to them about me talking to the lawyer? What did you expect me to say? Hey guys, your mother is meeting your father. Oh, you didn't know? He's back. They need to know you're doing okay. Well, I'm not okay, all right? I'm sorry, but I just can't deal with this right now. I wanted to say thank you for doing what you did for Sherry today. It's my job. <laughs> we both know it's not. She's not one of your cases. It's nothing to do with my case or not. She called me for help. Well, she wouldn't have if she didn't trust you. I mean, I myself failed to make headway with her. You did something. She's opened up to you more in a few days than she has with the school counsellor in months. Actually, it's nothing to do with me. I think... It's thanks to my son. <laughs> well, whatever it was, it's kept Sherry from getting into a whole lot of trouble. At the end of the day, you and I, that's why we're in this line, right? I suppose so. You know, um, Sherry will be here after school tomorrow so we can juggle her. That's so kind of you and Ibrahim. More like he just wants an excuse to tell stories about the old days to somebody who will listen. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, if you're free tomorrow, when Sherry's father comes to fetch her, I thought it's a good chance to explain to him more about what Sherry has been going through. Yeah, I like that. See you then. <sighs> Sayang. Ah. I think Rose and I, we really managed to understand each other better working together on Sherry's case. So next time Sherry has any emergency, better call Rose to go down instead. <sighs> okay, okay. Point taken. I won't just run off, especially if we're supposed to have lunch together, okay? Most importantly, Sayang, we must try not to let work take over our personal life. Yes, work is important, but taking care of yourself is even more important. And having our own quality time the most important. Eh, why don't we go for our date now? Wow, so spur of the moment. Do you have any plans? No. Oh, okay. Let's make it official. We're going on a date. Eh, nah. Some of them whittling a bit, but still okay, I think. Oh, I didn't even notice you kept this. Well, still, uh, I paid good money for that, you know. So, finally, we get to have our briyani. Yeah. <laughs> hey! hey. Shipping ah. everywhere! Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 
sayang. So sorry, I didn't know that the place closed down. I was really looking forward to the lamb biryani. <laughs> we went there when we were schooling so many years back. Of course, it will change. We should have done a search online first. <laughs> now where are we going to go? Hey, it's okay. We'll find somewhere. No, it's not okay. All our days are failure. Nonsense. We're still on the date, right? Just not the date we thought we were going to have. Hey, think of it this way. At least now, we can try somewhere new. That's true also. <laughs> Besides, the most important part of a date it's not the flower, it's not the activity. Ah, I know, I know. I know what you're going to say. What? It's the company, right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was going to say, it's the makan. Hey! <laughs> 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 Summer heat bakes the past on streets. Another day, another routine. Take a look around. Jared. Jared. Nothing. The lawyers are handling it. You can do something too, can't you? I mean, you're a law student. Yeah, with really crappy grades. So what? You help Arasi expose Jared. You help me with Iskandar. Who cares about classroom and grades? I'm only in my first year. But when it comes to the real world, you definitely know what to do. Don't you need to walk off those um, quilloris? Damien, your future is at stake. Don't leave it to the lawyers. Take responsibility for yourself. Hmm?